Hey, brothers and sisters and YouTube family. Hope you guys are being blessed. This is a really quick, urgent call right now. The Lord has called us once again um, to prayer and fasting, but like never before. Um, he mentioned this is a, the most critical moment ever um, that we've had in America, unfortunately. And I was going to wear the cap, but then I was like, it's rightfully America, one love. And so um, as you guys have known that I follow and I am part of the Assist My Voice ministry, and so Lord put a clear call out yet again, now more urgent than ever before, um, that um, our time is really running up. It's out. Um, if For those who have been following uh, what the Lord has been speaking on that channel, and those who don't or just the first time you're hearing this, is that the Lord had given us a condition of two to three years uh, before he returns for the rapture and the true revelation to ensue. And so his mercy, his hand of mercy, a wild card for America was Donald Trump being elected as president. And his desire, of course, would not um, would uh, have the Father relent and to have give us more time that more souls can come into the kingdom. Uh, but he always said it was conditional. Everything with the Lord, even when a prophetic word is spoken out, is always conditional. And many of it is based not only on faith, but on prayers of the saints. And so, um, unfortunately, it really breaks down how we've had a lot of victories, but not enough victories. And at this point, the Father is is recognizing that we're rejecting. America specifically, this generation just rejecting his hand of mercy, which means rejecting Donald Trump. And if that's what they want to do is continue to reject him, then they'll get exactly what they desire, which is the New World Order, um, chaos, civil war like never before, and most importantly, the tribulation ensuing, and he will take his brides. And I don't know about you, but I heard this. I was like, Lord, no, I've, I'm looking forward to um, at least one, one or two more years because um, – I know that God has graced me a lot, the things that I, a lot of things that I have in my heart to do. And I don't know about you, but I know that um, I pray that God has really been stirring your heart to really be about his business and his kingdom too as well. And so um, if our time is shortened, then that leaves us very small. That relieves really the amount of time for many of us for us not to fulfill the purpose and destiny that God has for us. But most importantly, the lost souls who will never come to the kingdom uh, because, of, because of us not interceding and praying. And so I just want to break down the message, and I'll include the prayer points at the end. So um, for those who've heard or not, like I said, this is a message from uh, Miss Claire, still small voice cha uh, channel, and she talks about crisis here in America and basically breaks it down how the Lord really had a travailing in prayer, um, weeping because um, she, the Lord began to quicken her that the time is short, the time is kind of up at this point, and it's really up to us um, right now to really intercede and pray um, for the Lord to relent, to hold His hand, His desire. Um, if those who have been following it who have not, is God's desire is that we would have at least two years of peace. The next two years would be a, a, a reign of peace like never before, that um, a, a righteousness would reign, that it would actually be a taste of what heaven is on earth. That's amazing, guys. That's what God's desire is. Uh, Jesus' desire is for the next two years with Donald Trump reigning, once he cleans out the swamp, once he um, really begins to uh, indict and put to uh, prison those who have been um uh, who have been corrupt, who have wanted the demise of this nation, which is most of the elite in the government, the Clintons, um, which I already took, I told you about Obama. There's so many, and so that's what they're fighting. Uh, they're doing whatever they can in order to stop Donald Trump from pressing forward. But we need to stand beside him and stand beside, first off, the will of God, that these things, uh, the Lord will cry to the Father, and the Father will relent and have mercy again. So just breaking down here uh, what the Lord was talking about, the last prayer point I put down was about the nukes. You know, and I hadn't heard anything about it, you know, from Ms. Claire or any revelation from myself and the Lord concerning the bombs going off, what's been happening. I've just been fasting and praying. And um, so she mentioned that she doesn't know at this point if basically um, the president is backed up in a corner, the nukes haven't gone off. So now the deep state government wants to come up with a different way of bringing the demise of our nation. Or, um, unfortunately, it looks like some of the nuclear bombs will have to go off and many will have to die in that. And so we're not, she's not even sure, but basically this is what she's breaking down here. So um, she mentioned, number one, that it, it's a fortune because of the people of America, uh, the nation of America and many nations around them are so fed by the media, which is all lies and it's all fear and it's all opposition against Donald Trump. They don't believe him. And so because they don't believe him, they almost been trained a program just as the Germans did with Hitler, the Nazi uh, Nazi camp and Nazi Germany. If you think about it, many people who now um, have lived past the Holocaust will say it happened so suddenly, just like when uh, Obama took office or um, and when uh, Hitler took reign. It happened so suddenly, it was like almost a sweep of popularity in the nation. People just grabbed onto all the lies. And now, now that they're out of it, they're amazed how quickly they just succumbed to everything that he was saying and actually went for it. 
and went for him killing millions and millions of Jews and completely allowed him to do whatever he desired. And that's exactly what, unfortunately, the American people are doing right now. Many of them are just clinging onto the lies, the media, what's being portrayed, what's being said, and immediately just coming along with a sweet tide of what, you know, what popular, what uh, what is popular, what seems right, and just coming along with uh, the desire of the Antichrist, uh, the Antichrist and all those in deep state government to bring about the demise of this nation. And so many people are so blinded and not recognizing what's going on. And so, um, and so as she mentioned as well, like Obama was, <laughs> Obama, as I said, my first video, I talked about how the Lord identified him to me and in my dream that he was the Antichrist. But if you remember, Obama came and everything he did was completely contrary to the word of God. Everything. I, I myself fell for him twice. Two, both the years. First year, I cried my eyes out. So excited that he won. The second year, I was all for him. When people began to speak against him, I thought for sure it's because of racial and they don't want a black president. I had no idea. I lacked so much revelation. So I thank God that when you truly seek him, he will give you revelation. I began to seek God for truth. And that's exactly what he did. He gave me revelation. And truly, everything about him lined up with scripture. He's a man of intrigue. He treated the whole world and the whole nation into lies and deceit and completely desired one of the Americans' demise. Everything about him was completely contrary to the word of God. You know, even as a, a South Point Democrat or Republican, it's time that as believers, as Christians, we rise up and say, who do we serve? Are we going to serve the government or are we going to serve God? That's the most important thing. Yes, the scripture which talks about we're supposed to yield to authorities that God has positioned, which is true, but we yield to them in the extent that isn't compromised with God's word. God's word is our law. It is our it is our foundation, it is everything. So when we have appointed officers, when we have people that um, are appointed in particular offices, we completely just blow over them because we're so stuck on the label of Republican and Democrat, recognizing that my identity is not found in any of these labels. My identity is I'm a child of God, number one first. And as a child of God, I, that means that I am a child of God. That means I think like my father, I look like my father, I desire the will of my father, and what would my the, my father will, rather than what is status quo and what is politically incorrect. I think we've completely gone far from that. And she also, the Lord also mentions in the, um, he also mentions in the message too as well about like the, the basically the generation of this time has completely bought into lies, has completely bought into lies. And because they bought into lies, he's going to leave them with exactly what they want. And so he mentions here um, that um, prosperity has misled the people, caused them to focus too much on their comforts rather than the, rather than the way the money, um, their money and the taxes are really going. The evil roots of the cancer that will eventually take over the whole world before I return to govern the earth. Because of comforts and abundance, much has been overlooked in the political arena. But now, those who are true to the spirit of this nation are begin to take that ground, supporting them in their fight. So God's designed that as uh, those who God has chosen and set apart, um, really, who have his heart and want his will. Like he's called us to set apart and to fight, to fight this battle. It, it seems like a losing battle at this point. Um, and so we'll begin, the Lord begin again here. And he says, uh, my people, my chosen ones, history is written with prayer. And this is your time to stand the gap, pray for a miracle. In fact, a succession of miracles. A miracle after miracles need to free this nation from its captivity. You who care, it is your hand. It is in your hands. I've given you a time frame in which I would, would observe the action of this nation. My father would make a decision about her fate. Although I'm anxious to save the Muslim people, others around the world, I cannot pose my father's judgment. He sees so much more than you do. And while he has defended a champion, which is Donald Trump, to break this system for at least a season, it is a very difficult battle. And we're not winning. We're losing many areas. But the heart of Trump is still alive, and the, efforts, and the efforts to do so still are active and standing. There's a fierce opponent that has his tentacles into the world in preparation for the tribulation, the takeover of every nation for a very long time. Going deep into generations with well said and prepared blueprints of destruction to unfold sequentially. And now we need the termination of blueprints. Your president has snatched up the prey at the very least moment from the jaws of the beast. With our hidden snars, blockades everywhere. Where progress is made in one area, at the same time lost in others, and held at bay. This is a great drama being played out before your very eyes, and if only you can see the underside, you'll know it's far more complicated than it looks. And if you go along with what is comfortable, attractive, and popular of this nation, it won't change. It's not looking good for you, America. As the liberal opposition gains ground, the corrupt hearts and minds of these people who know nothing of the truth will bring my father to the conclusion that the time is up for his intervention to move along and bring my brides home. This is truly a time of life and death upheaval there are no guarantees the battles in the minds of those who refuse to see or scratch a surface or even reason intelligently so the sad part about it, the battle is actually found in those who are lost 
lots of truth, lots of seeking revelation from the Lord, lots of seeking what's popular, lots of seeking Facebook, lots of seeking CNN and all these other news outlets uh, for their uh, for their um, for their uh, news for their direction about Trump and what's going on. The battle is actually in their mindsets, in their minds. And so that's what we want to pray, that their minds would change. And God will really begin to shift their minds to the things of God and really get rev- seek with God for revelation. It's just that since they've chosen lies, they may well get to see what their choices will result in. And that's crazy, guys. That's the truth, is that at this point, God has really shown Donald Trump is God's mercy to America. And unfortunately, just like Christ, when Christ came, they rejected him. They completely rejected him, and they decided to, to choose lies, and that's exactly what's happening. And not, of course, equating Donald Trump to Christ at all by any means, but what I'm saying is that this God's appointed to show mercy and to grant us more time. And because we have so many people in our nation right now completely rejecting the will and the hand of God's mercy, God will remove the mer- his mercy and then give judgment. And that's exactly what they'll choose. So they'll actually choose for themselves what they desire. And we're, we're going to pray and ask the Lord. It's important for us to pray and ask the Lord that they begin to have their minds change and they have to choose the things that God desires and have their eyes open. And so that's um, that's the first part of the message. The second part, the Lord continues to speak about America basically waking up and that he wants the blindfolds from their eyes to be taken off. And so we must pray. We must pray. So we must pray for the children or pray for those in our generation who don't know their right from the left because many don't. And assume that they know many people right now are going off their own wisdom. We have so many people on Facebook Live, on Instagram, celebrities uh, making, you know, uh, brash, harsh, uh, just um, lies about our president and lies about our nation. And so deceived, whether they know it or not, many are being used as puppets. Uh, many are very well aware of what they're doing and is falling into propaganda too as well. But many people are rising up to seek the wisdom of man rather than seek the wisdom of God. And I've gotten so much scorn and contempt, so much um, assault against me, whether it's on Facebook, um, Instagram, things I post, even in my own family. But at this point, my desire is the will of God. And I tell everyone, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in what I'm saying. The truth of the matter is seek God for yourself, because that's what I begin to do. I myself wrote a blog against Donald Trump and really thought people, the pastors around them were just like crazy. I really did. I was like, how could this man be a believer? There's no way. You test their fruit. You know them by their fruit. I was so deceived as well. So And God so humbled me. And that's what Lord mentioned here is that there's so much pride in this culture in itself. It would be a miracle for him to say because this generation thinks they know it all. They have it all. We have our own wisdom. We know what's right from wrong. And it's all lies. It's pride. We know nothing. Humility comes before the Lord and seeks God's face and say, God, what is what is on your heart? What is truth? And so I had to humble myself. And as I did that, the Lord revealed not only was Donald Trump's choice, as we to seek him for revelation, even concerned down uh, President Obama, he revealed the truth and what it was. And I was so I was so shocked and, sh- and astounded. And we are in the last days right now. Deception abounds. If you do not seek God's face, you will fall into deception 100% guarantee it. You will fall into deception. No longer can you seek pastor's wisdom, minish- any other ministry's wisdom. We have to seek God's face for ourselves. We really have to seek God's face. We can seek what the like I said, government is telling us, what the news is telling us. We have to seek God's face for ourselves in order to really get revelation. And more importantly, stand by who you're standing by. The word of God says, you know, if you you if God is before us, nothing can be against us. So if God is for Donald Trump, nothing can be against him. But guys, we need prayer. We need intercession. We really need to be fasting and praying. When this message hit me, I'll just start thinking about all the things that I don't I haven't done yet and desire to do. And most importantly, just all those that would be lost. I'm like, man, it, it time has gone by so fast. He said two, three years. We're in the second year. And so by next year, who's to know? Even this year as well. So let's really come together. Praying to see for this nation that the eyes of those who have been so lost to this um, to this entanglement of lies and so lost to the hardness of the heart, so lost in their pride, that the Lord would really begin to do a work in their hearts, awaking them, they would wake up, their eyes would be open, that they would, their minds and hearts would be uh, yielded to the things and will of God, that they'll grab onto God's grace in order to receive the truth and, and really respond to his grace and respond to his mercy that he's given through Donald Trump. Um, so like, so I have the pray points at the end of this video, but yes, guys, let's pray. Let's pray and receive like never before. Um, this is probably the most critical time ever with all of the, the all of the urgent calls God has given us. Who this is one of the most critical time. This is literally life and death. This is uh, from tribulation to more time. This is between the rapture happening and um, the rapture happening, or um, us having more time and uh, the Lord giving granted more time with family and friends as well for them to be saved. So please intercede and, and pray alongside with me.